good thing. Well, it's been it's kind of... get a little traction. It's coming. Is she... What does she do there? Same, Same thing? thing. Yeah, sales. sales. Oh, he's in sales. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they... Um, they changed direction a little bit. I, I told them that they wanted to get football on board. They really needed to do something where instead of watching your own team's social media, like what they post, that it could look at the recruits' stuff that they post, because that's where football spends most of their money. Oh, yeah. So they modified it a little bit, and that has started to catch on. So they've got a couple of customers using that are, and it's supposed to launch in October. And they got a couple of They've got a couple of customers. And are, are you selling those things too? Nope. You don't sell? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. I'm just helping them because I think it's a good product. Yeah, okay. That's not cutting your throat. Nope. Oh, good. Nope. So, huh. hopefully it'll take off. Yeah. So, but he's doing good. I talked to him. His youngest son got married last week over Labor Day weekend. Wow. So now he's, both of his boys are now married. And their, the wedding was in Louisville, Kentucky, because that's where the girl is from. Oh, yeah. So they were up there. And it looked like they had a good time. I haven't talked to them since the wedding, but they posted some pictures and it looked like they had fun. Good. Huh. So. How old was the youngest son? Um, Ricky is, I think, 25, maybe. Brendan's age. Oh, yeah. So now they're empty nesters. Yep. They have been empty nesters for a while because oh. Ricky was living, in, they live in Atlanta. He was living with his girlfriend in Atlanta. They live in sin. But he graduated with an engineering degree from Georgia Tech. And he actually works, his senior project was to work with a company to develop a way to, to de-shell pecans. Oh, yeah. Not, you know, pecan nut uh -huh. comes in that. And the problem is the shell is so hard that most people smash it. Well, then it breaks the nut. Yeah, well, it makes the nut the harder much it, left. It, yeah. Right, right. So their senior project was to work with a food company, him and like four or five guys, to figure out a way to de-shell the nut and leave the pecan hole. Uh -huh. And they won some national prize. No kidding, they managed it. They figured it out, and then the company that they did it for hired them. All of them. To work on the project at the company. And basically what it does is it shoots the nut down a tube and at the end of the tube is like a very sharp spear point. Uh -huh. And when they and shoot it, it yeah, the, it hits the sharp thing and it splits and the nut drops down. Oh, no kidding. Wow. So they figured out that if they did that, then, and the, I mean, they get very little waste now when they do it. So it's one well, of the major well, food companies. Yeah, it's easier, easier to handle, too. To, well, harvest. and you can get more money for a whole pecan meat than you can oh, for yeah? pieces. Oh, wow. Because normally they have to be shucked like a clam by hand. Uh-huh. Which is extremely expensive. 